Yeah, these are some good mountain roads here. We're going to have to definitely hit online soon. I haven't been online at all on this DLC. Let's throw it off of the hill. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> imagine doing that in tandem. Oh, my goodness. Welcome back today guys to the channel back here for a brand new episode testing out one of the latest Thrustmaster controllers to hit the market. This is the eSwap Pro Controller Forza Horizon 5 Edition and it has its own built-in steering wheel. Right now as well too we have another daily giveaway going on for today. Forza Horizon 5 Rally Adventure DLC codes are up for grabs once again. All you're gonna need to do comment down below Forza Horizon 5 Rally Adventure and I'll be randomly selecting a winner in 24 hours time and then I'll be asking you for your Twitter so that I can then DM you the key over there. Huge thank you Forza for sending over some keys for you guys. I really do appreciate that. This has a full working steering wheel attachment that can be slipped in within seconds. If you guys don't know, with these eSwap Pro controllers, they're all magnetic style, so you can just basically pull them out and in. If you guys have never seen one of these before, it is the coolest setup that you can just take out and in pieces of the analog stick, the D-pad as well too, uh, and basically put whatever you want into it. And today, we're going to be putting in that Thrustmaster steering wheel. I'm really excited to test this out. This does say a maximum rotation of 95 degrees. It says non-slip coating, stay in control at all circumstances. We also have adjustable sensitivity via the Thrust Mapper X software and three positions available. Now, the only thing though, I don't know if we can actually rotate the logo to bring it to the correct rotation when it is in this section here. Cool though is that these are all magnetic on the side. So these all can be interchanged. All links are found down below for this. Really excited to test this out. I have three cars that I wanna to drive today. Huge thank you to Thrustmaster for sending this out for me and sponsoring today's episode. Thrustmaster does a lot of other things rather than just controllers. Steering wheels, flight sim equipment, headsets, controllers, the list goes on. Links are found down below. Huge thank you for watching once again for today. And of course, before we start, dad joke of the day here. Link from Twitter once again. After my failed attempt at growing vegetables, this year I've decided to become a music producer I've got a ton of sick beats right oh my god right huge thanks for watching leave me your dad jokes down below right and of course don't forget to slap that like button Look at this actually works in the menus that's actually super cool okay we're here on the rally adventure DLC map and I'm curious this just works right oh yeah look at that full rotation on the steering wheel now I know some people may use it here. I don't think it would just work like that, though, would it? I'm curious. Let me get this. Please don't hit me. Oh, thank you. Let's pop that into there, which doesn't even make sense, but right, it's fine. And then we'll put that there. Oh, boy. Oh, it just works. How does that work? Oh, it just changed it. That's crazy. I'm curious on which way I'll prefer this to go here. Now, we're going to get a quick little launch control. Don't hit me. We're clutching. Oh my goodness, yeah. Line up exactly, but that's still cool though. Let's go for a quick launch. Thousand horsepower. I gotta remember, we're not on a stick. I don't know how I feel about it being here. I, I think I really do prefer it back to where it was. So let, yeah, see, my, my thumb even wants to go there. Quick change. We don't even have to pause the game. Like that is how simplistic and easy this thing is. Oh yeah, hold on, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, back to this style here. What is that guy doing? Just sitting there. Thousand horsepower Jimmy! Let's throw it. Now like I said, I do have a couple other vehicles set up here for today. 1700 horsepower Mustang, ready to slide, and then something a little bit slower as well too. Not too slow, but uh, should be fun just to kind of cruise around some of these spots and just get a good feel for some different types of vehicles and driving styles. Also too, by the time of this going live, Formula One will have already finished, being that it's in Australia, right? But if you guys did watch it, let me know your thoughts. I'm probably gonna watch it a little bit later in the day, uh, but I'm excited though. Sergio Perez, uh, yeah, geez, not looking the greatest form going into the race here. He ended up just going off track basically the entire day, uh, and then in Q1 ended up going right off the track, and then that basically ended his session. So definitely a tough time for Sergio, but um, right, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to do a little bit better there to keep up with uh, Verstappen for the World Championship. I know he wants it, but he's got to get back into the groove there for sure. 
Just a huge thank you to Thrustmaster for sending this over for me. Like I said, links are found down below to get yourself set up with one of these. And I do believe uh, they are available worldwide right now, huh? I'm almost certain. Here we go. Yep. Excuse me. I wanted to jump that so bad. I still want to jump this here. Where is this going to go? I'm right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, we went over that thing. As we really shouldn't have made that. Oh, my God. Right. 2015 Dodge SRT Hellcat is up next here. I figured this would be perfect to test on this controller. Lots of horsepower, lots of slip angle. Car definitely looks nice. Are you gonna hear it idling? <laughs> now this one doesn't have anti-lag, right? So we're not gonna have to worry about the cracks and bangs on this. Nice little change up for sure. Let's see how it does with drifting. It might even be a little bit smoother for me. We are on simulation steering as well, too, so I don't know if that really does matter too much, but... Oh boy, oh boy, too much. Oh, this is so cool, though. Once you get really warmed up to this, you get the finger placements in, where you need to be with this. You can really be smooth, but... Like, come on, look at the transition. A little bit better there, come on out, yep. Sorry, too much grip. I'm in fourth gear, too. And it is a little bit weirder for me because of the fact that I'm holding my controller up just so I can get it into the frame kind of thing, right? So, we're getting this car all dirty was not the plan. And we'll go this way, yep. Yeah. Excuse me. Ooh! Go in between them. No! <laughs> I panicked, man! I want to bring out the number 88 Mustang RTR with a nice old need for speed livery on here. 1,800 horsepower. Oh, that jump is crazy. This is it? Oh, this is another jump area. I think they definitely did a good job with this expansion map and putting a lot of good roads that were technical, that had some fun spots to it, and multiple jump drift spots as well, which is always fun. There you go, excuse me. No. Oh. Here we go. Put this thing whole, yeah. Third. Stay in our lane. That's not even your lane, sir. What are you doing? A little mini steering wheel in your hands. I love this. Oh, pylons. A little bit of rail, sorry. Like, how come I've never been up this mountain before? I don't I don't remember doing this section before. That's a nice section too. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll fix that later. There we go. Now make sure you guys do come around tomorrow. We have a special episode going up. Uh, I don't know why I said we, like if there's anybody else. It's just me doing these episodes out here. Tomorrow though, I do have something special cooking up. Make sure you guys come on by. A little bit of mixed reality, right? I seen Goosey is doing, he inspired me to get my own thing going on. And uh, it's officially ready. So I'm really excited to show it to you guys. Oh, what is this over here? This is actually kind of cool. Overlooking everything? Why does it look like we can jump up on this almost if we had an off-road vehicle? Right, I feel like my Jimmy could get up there maybe. We'll have to try that out. Car is filthy! Oh my, look at the dirt! No! We're going the wrong way here, back it up. Don't hit me, don't hit me, thank you. Yeah, these are some good mountain roads here. We're going to have to definitely hit online soon. I haven't been online at all on this DLC. Let's throw it off of the hill. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> imagine doing that in tandem. Oh, my goodness. I'm still falling. Okay, let's do it. Devil's Pass. I'm coming in first on this race, okay? Oh, yeah, a little Evo GSR. Okay, let's see if we can compete Five, here. Four, three, three, two, two one. one. Go. Here we go. I feel like this is going to be a big improvement for racing. Drifting gets a little bit maybe easier on the controller, but racing though, this is going to really be fun, I feel like. I mean, the fact that you just have your own little mini steering wheel anyways is really cool. It's going to be a challenge being on expert difficulty, but that's the whole point of it. You got the helicopter up in the air too. Sorry. Sometimes you just gotta plow into people here. Get our way through. Woo! 
missile will slide over. These guys are so slow through some of these. For the brakes. Oh. Yeah, I'm definitely liking this for racing. Oh, I clamped the brakes too hard. Sorry. Let's push them off. Oh, I almost got him. That would have been greasy. I'm going to try to get this guy if I can. But imagine pushing people off on this. Got to be done. 82%. Oh, this guy's got a big gap, though, coming in. Flip him, yes! I got him! Oh, get wrecked. I needed that so bad. We need to win this race, too. There's no second place. We need to win it. Oh, thank goodness. That would have sucked. Big 360 to finish it. Let's go. You win some, you lose some out there. I ain't losing that one. I'll tell you that. Oh, we got the achievement. Better together. Won your first Horizon race event? What? No, it's lying. I've won many others before, okay? Don't even listen to it. I think my final thoughts, though, with this controller, definitely a W. I've been really enjoying this. Let me know your thoughts down below on here, and I'm excited to test this on other games. Obviously, it's not just Forza that this is going to work for. This is going to work for any other racing game that I'm going to play with. This is just like a left stick. It'll work for any game, anything that you're doing. Uh, so this is going to be really fun to just test out different games. Maybe a breakfast, stuff like that too, right? So let me know your thoughts down below. What maybe you'd like to see next on. And uh, if you guys have already picked yourself up one of these controllers here. It's been really cool to test this out. Huge thank you to Thrustmaster for sponsoring today's episode and sending this thing out. Right, and of course, make sure you guys do subscribe. Post notifications, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, every single day. Posting an episode daily out here. Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.